Hi everyone, welcome to our lecture on operations management. Um, again, or the total quality management, I am your lecturer. First off, we need to understand what operations management is. So, operations management or OM is the set of activities that creates value in the form of goods and services by transforming into inputs into outputs. So it's between goods and services, not just goods, no? Like in the production, uh, it, it is the creation of, uh, when you say production, production management, it is the creation of goods, both goods and services. So here in the operations management, that's, uh, we need to, understand that in all organizations whatever the industry is there's always operations uh, management case in point no in creating goods or product ito yung mga tangible or mga nakakita nahawakan um case in point itong Harley Davidson na to na motorbike no it's something tangible we can see we can feel we can touch so it's creating of goods meanwhile we also have that um, services, or rather providing services, which is not tangible, cannot see. Case in point, uh, the services that the banks are providing. So what are those? Financial services, right? So uh, the services may be hidden from the public and even from customer. Kasi hindi siya nakita eh. The product may take such forms as the transfer of funds from a savings account to a checking account, the transplant of a liver, no? the feeling of an empty seat on an airplane, or the education of students like you guys. This is offering of service. So regardless of whether the end product is a good or a service, the production activities that go on in the organization are often referred to as operations. And then we manage that operation. That's why we have the concept of the OM or the operations management. Organizing to produce goods and services. To create goods and services, all organizations perform three functions. These functions are the necessary ingredients not only for production but also for an organization's survival. They are, for one, marketing, which means, uh, which generates rather the demand or at least takes the order for a product or service. So nothing happens there until there is an actual sale. Number two, production or operations, which creates produces, and delivers the product. Number three, finance or accounting, which tracks how well the organization is doing, pays the bills, and collects the money. So again, all organizations, when they create goods and services, have this, uh, have, have, have performed three functions. No? These are all the necessary ingredients. So, in organizing to produce goods and services, no, uh, in continuity to that previous slide, we have here um, a sample. So, this sample, you can see here, commercial bank. So, we have operations, yung teller, scheduling, check clearing, Collection, transaction processing, facilities design or layout, vault operations, maintenance, security. Then we have the finance, no? yung kanina na, na in-explain natin. Investment, securities, real estate, accounting, and auditing. And in marketing, ito yung hindi pa, nothing happens pa until there is an actual sale. There's the loans, yung mga products na pinoprovide ng bank, or service na pinoprovide ng bank. For commercial loans, industrial, financial, personal, mortgage, and then there's the trust department. 
So the areas in blue, I'll just emphasize that, that one, indicate the significant role that operations management plays in both manufacturing and service firms. In our example here, we have a commercial bank, a commercial bank offering a service. So yan naka blue na yan, na highlight natin na red box. Dan ang piniplay na role ng operations management. Right? So again, because in that area, nandun yung set of activities, no? Yung dinefine natin kanina on what uh, OM is or what operations manage, management is. Okay? It relates to the activities that relates to creation of goods and services through the transformation of inputs to outputs. Another sample, uh, itong airline, no? So, sa operations niya, my ground equipped my ground support equipment, my maintenance, my ground operations, facility maintenance, catering, diba kung nakasakay na kayo ng plane, my flight operations, crew scheduling, flying, communications, dispatching, and management science. Sa finance or accounting naman niya, we have accounting, accounts payables, accounts receivables, in our ledger, finance, cash control, inter international exchange, and then sa marketing, we also have traffic administration, reservation, schedules, tariffs, pricing, sales, and advertising. Notice that, again, we emphasize, ibabox natin siya into red, where operations management are crucial. Look at that. In operations, everything else, right? Tapos sa marketing, yung mga nag-reserve, yung mga nag-schedule, kailangan din ng operations management. Because without managing its operation, magkakanda loko-loko yung reservation. Case in point, what's happening now with uh, an airline, din na lang natin papangalanan, no? nagkakagulo yung schedule at reservation nila. Kaya, ang nangyari tuloy, nati-change yung flight schedule kasi uh, nag-open sila ng seat sale or promo and then eventually na-overbook yung date na yun dahil may promo nga. Na-overbook yung isang date. So, ang mangyayari, ililipat nila yung ibang clients. Sabihin na na-overload, I will change your schedule like this. So, hindi nila na-anticipate yun. So, that's actually an operations management issue. Get that? No? Naapektuhan yung operations eh. No? Yung pag-actual delivery nila ng kanilang uh, services. So, another example, ito manufacturing. So, operations, no? Madami to. Facilities construction, in maintenance, production and inventory control, quality assurance and control, supply chain management, yung design, industrial engineering, process analysis, right? And sa finance and accounting, disbursement, credits, accounts payables, you can read all of this. No? And then the marketing, promotion, advertising, the sales, the market uh, research. So let's just highlight the, the operations no? where our study of operations management uh, takes place. So again, without all this highlighted here in operation under the silo of the operations, it would be very, very difficult for a manufacturing uh, company to deliver their production or their goods, right? If hindi organized, yung nandito sa mga specific tasking na dapat i-deliver or specific in a way operations no, na dapat nilang i-execute para magawa yung product na binibenta nila or minamanufacture nila. Case in point, uh, let's check out yung paggawa ng iPhone, for example. So, kung hindi yun Sa manufacturing plant, kung hindi yun masusupervise ng maayos kung paano ginagawa each stages of the, of the iPhone, definitely magkakatrouble ang Apple company, di ba? So, ganun siya ka-crucial no? in our study of ano, operations management. So, in our book reference, to give justice to it, uh, there are four reasons why we study OM. First off, 
it is important to know how the OM activity functions from all facets of the organization such as market or the sell, sell, finance, and produce or how we operate that. Therefore, we study how people organize themselves for productive enterprise. You know, keynote Jan, no? We actually study how people organize themselves to deliver that certain product. Without such, magkakanda loko-loko yung ginagawa ng isang organization. That's why it's important to study operations management. Second, we study operations management because we want to know how goods and services are produced. Ba? We want to know how they are produced. So, the production function is the segment of our society that creates the products and services we use. Case in point, dito sa picture natin, sa icon na yan. Paano nga ba ginagawa yung pagkatahe? Paano nga ba siya ginagawa? Tinakat, sinusukat, and all. We want to study that. So that pagdating ng mga tao natin, kung may mga each side na ito taga-cut, ito taga-sukat, ito taga-tahe. Diba? Mas organized, mas mapapabilis yung trabaho because we fully understand how it is being uh, produced. So the production function, again, as I mentioned kanina, it's the segment of our society that creates the products. Yun yung pagkikreate. Third, we study operations management to understand what operations managers do. Regardless of your job in an organization, you can better perform if you understand what operations managers do. In addition, understanding OM will help you explore will help you explore the numerous and lucrative career opportunities in the field. Because it needs a leader, it needs a manager to organize the people in in a certain manufacturing or in a certain task. Without the manager, without a leader, madi disorganize yun. So we study operations management to understand what must we do as managers or managers baka yung ngayon na or in the future, like in, a, in the household, in your family, you manage your family, di ba? your anak, your wife, your household. That's your task. Without your leadership, without that, it might be chaotic in your household. So similarly, in an organization, we need some managers, operations managers, to understand fully their job description on in organizing their employees. And lastly, We study operations management because it is such a costly part of an organization. Magastos siya na parte ng isang organization. A large percentage of the revenue of most firms is spent in the operation management function. Indeed, OM provides a major opportunity for an organization to improve its profitability and enhance its service to society. Example 1 considers how a firm might increase its prof profitability via the production function. Yung example 1 natin kanina. No? So again, what is operations management? It is the set of activities that creates value in the form of goods and services by transforming inputs into outputs. And we also learn that they can be good, tangible good or product, or intangible or hidden service, like what the banks are offering. So, that's the, um, the very basic on operations management and why do we need to, to study operations management? In our next class or maybe in the next lecture video, we will select 
some concepts that we that might be useful for you and me and then discuss ko din siya dito right so that ends our short briefing or lecture as our jumping board to studying operations management i'll just uh, instruct by a chat or message to you guys uh, the next step for this so thank you and have a good day or have a good night every time it is there when you are watching this so thank you and i'll see you again